In this video, we're going to look at the system status and configuration interfaces that are part of the user workspace management interface. So we've fired up our viral server and we've logged into the user workspace management interface and we're logged in as admin. On the left hand side, you can see here a series of entries and the ones we're interested in, we're going to take a look at today, the system configuration and system status panels. Clicking on the system status panel then gives us a series of options as can be seen here. So we can look at the system statistics, check the health of the system and also download logs. So what kind of statistics do we gather? This is the running information taken from the system. It provides details of the numbers of simulations that are run, the kinds of virtual machines that have been started up, and general usage data. The system logs are especially useful when it comes to troubleshooting. This gathers a whole series of files and presents that in a zip file which is then downloaded to your desktop and then can also be provided to the support team if you're reporting a problem. The check health status function performs a series of checks of the system and provides you with a simple traffic light style report. We can download the information, we can also see the full data behind it. But here we can see we've actually got two red lights that are appearing on the dashboard. And clicking on this function, we can then get a more detailed view as to what exactly is going on. And so in this case, I've engineered it such that the STD server function is actually down. And we can see that's resulted in this red light status, and we can see the, the detailed information there. The raw report gives us all of the information behind it. So we can see a full detailed download of all of the information that's then going to create that traffic light report. I've now restarted the STD server function and if we rerun the health status check, that should then result in green light status appearing on our display. And there we have it. So we can now click on the link and we can see the detailed information behind it and indeed the STD server function is up. Next, we're gonna take a look at the system configuration panel. So this is a web interface with a series of different options for system, network, viral services, and OpenStack functions. And through this interface, you can then modify your configuration as required. And once you're happy, press the apply changes. So for this demonstration, we're going to change our NTP server from its default. And here I'm entering the new NTP server that I want to be talking to. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna press return. That's then confirming my values and I'm gonna press the apply changes. This then triggers the reconfiguration and we can see the progress of that. We can hit the refresh button and we can see that the first step is completed and the second one is running. I can now click on this link and I get the detailed log of that reconfiguration as it's being applied to the system. Now we can actually see it's completed. We have 10 out of 10. Again, I can click on the link and I get the full download and it gives me the location of that log file. So we can see how the configuration changes were applied, the various steps that were taken place. And obviously, if there are any errors, they will also show up here, but we're happy. 10 steps completed, no errors. Now we're gonna go back to our system status report run it once more and we're going to now look at the NTP section and here we can see the entries that have been applied and we can see we have an asterisk there so we are in sync with our NTP server. 